What's going on guys, Kirk here from Motor Gear TV. Thank you all for tuning in once again. And as you guys can see from the title of the video, today we're gonna to be flashing the M2 using MHD tuning. We got a lot to cover, so stay tuned. Let's get tuned. Alright, so when it comes to the subject of tuning, I feel like this topic gets thrown around a lot. Now for a lot of BMW owners, tuning is seen as the ultimate step in your modification process. There's a lot of different platforms offering a lot of different results. For me personally, I've always used MHD tuning for any of my cars. For you guys who are OG subscribers, you would know that I did have a 2011 E90 335i that had the first gen N55 motor. We tuned it on MHD doing stage 2 plus and we got really amazing results. The car was way more responsive, the power delivery was all there and I just enjoyed how user friendly MHD was. Now for me having the M2 now with the newer N55 motor, we have a lot more reliability and a bigger ability to have a higher power gain. Now as I mentioned, we are going to be doing stage 2 plus using MHD. Now for me personally, I know that there are a lot of different tuning platforms that you guys can use. Based on my experience, I have witnessed that MHD works really good, especially with the N55 motors. And not only that, especially when it comes to the ability to be user friendly, I think it's an excellent option. It's a platform that relies heavily on the user's input. For those of you who have used MHD in the past, you know that it's a platform that constantly looks to do revisions, looking for where they can make improvements, and they're always coming out with new updates. Now, in addition to that, they've made it very simple and very easy to flash your car, especially when using their Wi-Fi adapters. Now, this one that I have specifically in front of me is their newest adapter. And what's really unique about this version is that it's compatible with the E, F, and G chassis. So normally in the past, they would have different versions of the adapter to fit different platforms of the cars this is an all-in-one adapter so again if you guys are interested in flashing your car using MHD this is the one to get and just so everyone knows we do have these units in stock on the website motorgeargarage.com now because we are going to be doing stage 2 plus on this car there are going to be a few supporting mods that you guys are going to need the first one which is highly recommended and usually required is to upgrade your intercooler now for those of you guys who do know we are running the ARM upgraded high flow intercooler and in addition to that, you are going to have to also upgrade your downpipe. Now you can either run a high flow catted downpipe or a catless downpipe. For us, we are running the VRSF catless downpipe, which sounds amazing, has way better flow, and it's very cost effective. And really that's all you need. Now there are some other recommended upgrades that you can do. One is going to be to upgrade your spark plugs. For us, it's gonna be the NGK two-step cola plugs, which I think is the 9756 version, if I'm not mistaken. While that addition isn't necessarily required it is recommended so you guys have less chances of having a misfile but really and truly that's all you need I mean the air intake is gonna make a difference you know there are other supporting mods that you guys can add on to also increase the power gains but really it's just mainly just having the downpipe and the intercooler and doing the spark plugs we have done this install in the past it's very easy to do very user friendly so right now we're just gonna go ahead and get started plug the car in on a battery charger sit down in the car plug in the MHD Wi-Fi adapter and get this tuning process started. Now this process is pretty straightforward. First thing you're going to need to do is to have the car in the on position after making sure that your Wi-Fi adapter is plugged in correctly. For me personally, I like to put my phone into airplane mode just to make sure that I don't have any interruptions during the tuning process. First thing you're going to want to do is to go on your Wi-Fi, make sure you connect to the adapter. Once you're connected with that, then you're going to go ahead and go into the app. Now just so you guys see the entire process, I'm going to go ahead and screen record just to show you how easy it is. Now, when you go into the app, you're going to notice that there's going to be a bunch of new updates. As I mentioned before, MHD is constantly looking to always improve their system. Pretty much every few days, they have new updates to fix bug fixes, have new updates for fuel maps, things like that. I'm going to go ahead and close. Now, because I already have the license connected to the car, I'm not going to really go over that step to do so. Once you purchase the app, you're going to go ahead and enter the key that they give you. Signing up for the license on the app is pretty straightforward. The only thing you're going to need to do 
is to make sure that you scan the car that way the app recognizes your VIN number. From there you can go ahead and tune directly. For us we're just going to go ahead and read any DME codes that we have and clear them just to see if anything pops up. Now right now it's saying that I need to do an update so I'm going to go ahead and dismiss it. So after you registered your license to the app, you're going to go ahead and do a scan just to make sure there aren't any previous error codes that you need to clear. Yeah, once that is done, we're going to go ahead and clear any codes. It doesn't seem that I have any. We're going to go to the first step, which is to flash your car. For those of you who've never flashed your car before, sometimes it's recommended just to have the stock profile saved to the app just in case you ever need to flash back to stock. MHD does have their own stock flash tune, but obviously it's going to vary depending on your car. Me personally, I just want to have my stock file on hand just in case I need to flash back to stock. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Next step, we're going to go ahead and flash, go to the main page, which is going to be your first page, and go to flash an MHD map. Initially, when you get to this menu, you're going to see a bunch of different options that you can use for stage 2, 2 plus. There's a high pressure fuel pump option. There's an option for hybrid turbos if you want to go pure turbos. Right now, I'm seeing a new flash update for your transmission. I didn't even know you could do a transmission flash with MHG, so that's pretty cool. And there's also different options if you want to do a multi-map setup to have different maps on the fly. Now, we're going to go into that a little bit later in a different review, but for right now, I think we're just going to go ahead and do stage 2 plus. Now, you guys will notice that there isn't any stage 1, and that's because, at least for me, because this is an M2, the power level that it's at right now, it doesn't require us to go to a stage 1. Stage 1 would pretty much be the stock map on the M2. So that's why there's only stage 2 and stage 2+. plus. We are on 93 octane, so we're going to choose 93 octane. Go into stage 2+. plus. Now, for that, we're going to just look at some of the options that are available. Now, there's a few things that we can do. Looking at the exhaust setup, we're going to do aftermarket downpipes because we do have a catalyst downpipe. Remove top speed limiter, yeah, we'll do that. Remove iDrive power and torque gauge maximum values, yeah, we can do that as well. Um, disable motor start stop, um, that's already wired into the car so we don't need to change that. Exhaust burble, now this is a very controversial topic. Um, for me personally, I'm not really a fan of, you know, the loud obnoxious constant burbles so we'll probably put that at pretty low value leave it at oem style for now have the rpm setting at 1200 max rpm 5000 minimum speed yeah we'll leave that at zero and maximum speed 99 i think that's pretty good cold start reduction nah we're gonna keep that for now uh startup roar uh, my car from factory already has a startup roar so i don't need to change that limit power by gear now we'll just leave that where it is for now and you have an additional hardware support tmap sensor that's currently at oem ignition coils currently also at oem is your high pressure fuel pump installed currently at oem and injectors installed still have stock ones everything else is pretty much non-van setup you're going to have options for port injection and meth again we're not running any of those right now so this is going to be my standard setup just to kind of test it out and see what we can do from there Next thing we're going to be doing is click long right and this is the flashing process. So because we are doing this for the first time, it may take a little bit longer compared to you doing it a second time. On average, it typically takes about 5 minutes or so, maybe less, but let's see how long this one is going to take. Alright, coming up on the end right now, should only be a few seconds. Yeah. 15 10 5 seconds left guys alright there she is she's done alright so now it's just clearing all the previous codes and telling us to wait 30 seconds all right so not bad we finished the tune in about 2 minutes and 54 seconds pretty good now i will mention that this new adapter does have a quicker processing time so you'll notice when you're tuning that this one is a lot faster than the previous version it's telling us right now to go ahead and wait 30 seconds before we disconnect it so we're gonna go ahead and do that and i think after that it's time to take this car on the road and see what it's really made of
just gonna go ahead and cruise around us until we find a nice little smooth straight and then see what this thing is made of. I have it in sport mode right now and again I can drive it like a normal car. For some reason I can definitely hear the turbo spool just a little bit more which is pretty nice. <laughs> I can really tell that the car really wants to take off. Let me see if we can do a little pull right now, just to see. First, let's see. A big difference. No, the first, the first and second gear pull was really good. Yeah, man. In a second and see. Wow. I'm excited. Man. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, for off the shelf tune. Yeah. That's, that's really insane. good. actually insane yeah wow man what a really big improvement Let's see for lunch. Yeah. all right right now probably give you guys a little bit of the launch control and see how it does so let's do that you ready for this one yeah, let's go <laughs> all right one two three say that the N55 really I think it has a lot of potential yeah, man. Like, I know a lot of people they say you know S55 is so much faster than an N55 M2 but I think honestly with the mods that we have like this car it's it's not slow like it's, and this thing is just on 93 octane imagine if we put it on 98 or even go e E30 E40 E50 honestly a few pump on a turbo that's 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 all you really need yeah for the street yeah. I wouldn't yeah, I wouldn't really go anymore but guys, honestly, really impressed with how the car has been performing, especially right now in this first driving experience. Absolutely worth it. For $500, this tune transformed the car completely. 
even on the launch a while ago, I was very impressed with how stable the car felt. Like it, it, yeah. it broke traction, but it wasn't like out of control, like fishtailing everywhere. And these Pilot Sport 4SCs definitely does the job. Hooks on point. Yeah, I think once you start upping the power, good tires is definitely number one along with brakes, which and we you also need to do. Yeah, soon. brakes will probably be the next thing yeah. to do. And I'm, I have 295s in the box, so that's plenty of grip for me, especially on the streets. Yeah, yeah. Increasing the boost and then stuff starts breaking. So absolutely, Trust definitely, me. yeah, definitely make sure you take care of the maintenance because you'll have more fun in the end if you do it that way. Yeah. I'm modifying these cars ain't cheap, but trust me, guys, fixing them is even more expensive. <laughs> uh, all right, I think Kirk is gonna give us. A little outside launch, so let's see what the car sounds like. Yo, this car sounds so 
good guys and performance exhaust with the vrsf catless downpipe is really one of the best combos for this car man hopefully that's not too loud <laughs> Guys, I will be honest when I say this that I definitely put the N55 in my top three lists of best sounding engines from BMW next to the S65. Like this thing with a catless downpipe, it's crazy. You like that one? Yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> Too bad. All right, and there you guys have it really not much else to say about the tune the car performs amazing i really love how improved the throttle response is the power the pull from first to second third all the way up to fourth really amazing and i can definitely say the m2 has finally come alive again big shout out to mhd you guys made an amazing tune really looking forward to working with the platform more so we can develop the m2 even further as you guys know we are going to be doing a dyno run pretty soon to see what the power difference is once we have everything dialed in but for now, I'm just gonna be enjoying the car and enjoying every moment of it. Guys, the M2 is an absolute beast. I'm super happy with how the car is performing right now. And guess what? There's only more to come. Now again, if you guys have any questions about MHD and how it works with the M2, make sure to leave some comments down below in the description. Tune in for more geared up content. We got a lot more to cover with the M2. Thank you all for tuning in once again. Tune in for more geared up content. And until then, we're gone.